Hey, welcome to our database example app. In this video, we're going to create a function that will update a record in our database. So we're going to make it as simple as possible with hard-coded values. Let's go make a new class inside of our main area. And let's call this thing update1. And let's see, it's going to have a new, it's going to have a main operator and finish. So updates and deletes and inserts are all very similar. Let's try using the delete. I'm going to copy all the code as my example and put it inside of my new function. Let's check out the usual things. So all the number of brackets is good this time. It wants to have the throws declaration declared up here. So once more we're going to have uh, the variables here for connections and the statement, connection successful message, Okay, our SQL is going to change here. So our SQL statement is going to change. So instead of uh, delete from, we're going to say update. And we'll put in the uh, name of our, of our data, database table. And now we're going to set some values. So in this case, I want to change the chocolate guy. So let's say set, um, what was that thing called? Thing title, all right? And instead of chocolate, I want to make it dark chocolate. And it looks like my word wrap is needing to come back again. So we're going to set dark chocolate instead of chocolate. And uh, what do we want to change? Uh, that's going to be where the ID number equals number one. Okay, and so that is an update statement. Now let's see if it'll actually work. So let's save our work here. And let's check before and after. So before we have chocolate. Oh, I'm sorry. It's number two is the ID. Let's switch that again. So our ID number that we want to change is two. And let's check it again. So chocolate is going to change to dark chocolate, hopefully. So let's run our update and see what it does. Run the Java application. We got an error. It says you have a syntax error in your SQL statement. So it looks like the error is probably right here in the column name. Now the column name is good, but the uh, data doesn't need to have quotation marks. So let's delete those. ID is non-quoted and the data is quoted. Let's try that again. Save it and run it. And this time we got uh, a success. Rows affected is one. So let's check to see if it worked. Go back into my database management and let's see. So chocolate we're expecting to change if I click browse and now I got dark chocolate. Very good. Okay, so we're done. We have four operations. We have delete and insert and read all and update. Now, the next part of the video is we're going to combine all of these things into a single class where we can pass parameters into them and they can update the uh, beautiful things by uh, objects instead of just uh, hard-coded values. So let's move on to the next video and see how that's done.